The words of Jesus often have an enigmatic quality to them. Their meaning is not always immediately obvious. Those who listen to him sometimes have to struggle to understand what he is saying. We often have the same experience ourselves when we read the Gospels. The words of Jesus set us on a journey of discovery. We gather with other believers to ponder them with a view of drawing out their meaning. Hence, we find ourselves in, say, Bible study groups. We talk about the Word of God, and in the process, we learn from each other's insights, and most often, we are able to see the Word of God in a very different light. We find something similar happening in our, in our gospel reading today. Jesus says something, and the disciples say, say to one another, What does he mean? And the words of Jesus that so mystified the disciples were, In a short time, you will no longer see me, and then in a little while, you will see me again. These words were spoken on the evening of on the evening before Jesus was crucified. In a short time the disciples would no longer see Jesus because he would be put to death. Yet God would vindicate his son, bringing him through death into a new life. In a little while after his death, his disciples would see him again as risen Lord, and their sorrow, their weeping and wailing would give way to joy. But of course, at that moment, when Jesus was saying these words, the disciples could not understand. In fact, only in ret retrospect that they would understand. But at that moment, they could not, and that, was, and that was understandable. But the good thing was, Jesus did not force them to understand everything instantly. Rather, he said, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now, I know. But the time will come that you will understand, because the Holy Spirit will come to you, and then you will understand. But for now, it's okay that you do not understand. Eventually, you will. My friends, that is how compassionate Jesus is to us. He does not force us to understand everything now. He gives us time, and He gives us some more allowance of time for us to understand things. That is how patient He is with us. And this must teach us a very beautiful lesson. Be patient to those around us who cannot understand, and to ourselves who cannot understand everything quickly. When your child or your grandchild cannot grasp what you have been teaching them, be patient. Perhaps soon they will come to understand everything. When some members of our church do not seem to understand how things should be at the church, or when they do not understand your, our work ethic for some reason or another, be patient. Perhaps soon they will come to a fuller understanding of things. But for now, at the moment, be patient. Or when you yourself do not understand what is happening in your lives, when you yourself could not make sense of the things that are happening in your family and in the world, be patient and remain hopeful that in time you will also understand because the truth in the, the, truth in the words of Jesus remains. He will send us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will help us understand. And the Holy Spirit will lead us into the truth. Amen.